So what I was going to ask today is about kindness. Um, I've been lucky in life. People have always been kind to me. And I was going to ask you about who's, who's done a kind gesture to you in your life? Who's been generous or just been kind? It might be one occasion. It might be someone that, that kept doing it. I've got a lot to thank them all. Yeah. There's nothing you want for them. There's nothing I want for them anyway. She was, we never had a crossword. I used to take her a cup of tea in the morning before I went to work and yeah. then got to see her in the evening. Not every evening, but uh, we never argued or disagreed or had bad feeling about anything. Which, you can't usually say that about your own family, can you? Two of my brothers went back to Canada where they were born and uh, later on Margaret and I decided that we was going to emigrate. My brothers helped me. I went there and my brothers introduced me to their friends. Work was hard to get and uh, all of these guys I played darts with, things don't finally work for me, you know. And, uh, it so helped me in settling in, you know, in a new country. When, when I worked here, I had two jobs before, one in the army. And then I went to Canada in my first two years. I think I had 12 jobs. Because over there, you know, you're working away, then they'll come along and they say, you're finished tonight. Just like that, you're finished. And then you, now you've got to start looking for work again. But all these friends, they was looking for work for me, or say, go down to this place, I'll put your name down. And that's uh, basically what happened. It made settling in so much easier because we was invited into their homes and, and that's what made the difference of resettling and uh, it, was, it was good for both of us. You can't get this tonic at the doctors. The tonic of good company, of laughing and sharing. You know, they don't do that to the doctors. And it, to me, it lasts days and days. It just gives me the internal glow. Um, subject, I, didn't, you know, I didn't think I'd get upset. Thank you, Ted. That's very kind and very poignant um, story of your settling in in Canada. Thanks for sharing that. I didn't know I was going to be making everyone quiet. <laughs> yeah. So we're meant to be having a laugh, mate. Right? That's no, good that we are. Yeah. yeah. But she is. She really is kind. I think if you can have that in your life, there's light. The curtains are open. And life's yeah. a little bit easier rather than you're in like the dark. I'm upset, but I'm not really. No. No, no. no. You're appreciative. I'm really, yeah. And everybody gives, like the stories you give are like gifts. So as an exchange, I, I, I bring you all together, but you'll bring a gift of a story from your life that yeah. means something to you. Yeah. And then you pass it on. It's like a baton, isn't yeah. it? No, even in the bakers you can't get, everybody says it, not just me, yeah. the earth sponges are the best you can get, honestly. Really? Really, really. Yeah. really. I'm just amazing, amazing. I just sort of always remember you as a as a kind person, as a funny person, but as an amazing life that you've lived. Do you remember kindness and generosity in your life? Yes, I'd say I'm kind to you. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> we are cousins, by the way. Oh. Our mums were sisters and our dads were brothers. So we think we're a little bit close, but I'm not talking about her. <laughs> it's a bit like counselling today, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know you're getting anything back, but you're getting it out. <laughs>